one, two, three, four. Undo those, get the clutch pedal to come down this way. There's an adjustment screw. Remove this little plastic cover. That just pulls off. You have to kind of work half on your side, but you can get to them. All right, so that's all the nuts removed. They're all 12 mils. And we can get a little bit of wiggle room, bring it down. You don't need to remove it, but you should be able to get in the back of this a little bit easier. So here we go, this little thread here. So just here is a threaded bar, a rod, and there's a lock nut just on the top. So as I depress the clutch, it pushes the rod going up. So if I've got my calculations correct, I need that rod to be unscrewed slightly more. In other words, I need to move the locking position of that rod further up so that it would engage quicker. I'll just move the little split pin here. I'm gonna move this pivot bolt and then that hopefully will give me a bit more room to get in here. And just about see on the back there that there's a few threads. Okay, so I want to basically lose some of those threads. Good news is that if I turn this, you can see at the back there, the nut is actually part of the assembly. So if I can just hold that uh, rod, I can then turn it. Probably I'm going to go so that I can't see the threads. In other words, I'm going to lose about two mil. Let's move on, because it's time to move on.